early advent october nights every year i get that advent calendar of 24 beers every year i end up drinking all 24 beers in the same night this year i'm trying to do it right by doing it two months early definitely not talking at my full volume it is about 12 14 in the morning it's day number 14 woo hoo also, I don't want to yell because I have a lovely sleeping wife and an annoying, yappy dog. If I wake up that dog, it's all over. I found a reason that I really wanted to drink tonight. What better way to do it than to review a beer right here? A lot of explanation with this beer, so let's just get to it. Bam! I whispered so it's okay. This one is Holler Tower Hopfen. Cuvée. It says right here it's made by uh, four of the best hops in Germany. I knew them before they were cool. Whether that's the case or not, I don't know. They only put the word hops on the back. But I'm a little bit more worried about what this word means. Cuvée. This is a pilsner, but it's a cuvée. What is a cuvée? Traditionally, it meant blending together a few wines. I don't want wine, I want beer. Today you'd use the term cuvee as a blending of beers as well, especially when you're talking about pre-carbonated beers and then combining them to create a cuvee. A cuvee is a blended alcoholic beverage now, not just wines. Today we're drinking a cuvee, or cuvee, or cuvea. I'm pretty sure it's cuvee. I'm just gonna keep going with cuvee. Gotta tap and crack. Hit open. Beer, bourbon, and barbecue glass. Nice bubbly pilsner. Nice, light, easy to see through, even in the night. Nice and champagne-y in this champagne-y looking glass here. By the way, this glass looks really big. Do not be deceived. Pretty tiny. On aroma, it's uh, not exactly a smell I would recommend. It kind of smells like a 1980s dive bar. Shouldn't smell like that. Kind of a, kind of a cardboardy, not very tasty beer. Let's get to drinking. It's a very metallic taste to this one. The flavor of the can and decided this is what the beer should taste like. The can specified the finds the four best aroma hops from the region of Bavaria. Well, the aroma, not so great in the beer. It's like used wet construction paper. It's like the bathroom floor covered in stale urine. That's a great flavor for a beer. It's a bad smell. If you got this on you, you'd have to explain yourself to, to everyone. It smells like dirty dishes that you left overnight. Oh shit, I forgot to do the dishes. And the flavor isn't much better. It's definitely better than the smell. It tastes like flat soda and past its expiration date. This is just awful. It's not good at all. Yeah, it's not good at all. You keep drinking it though. I can drink crap. Mm, this is what this is. The aroma stays in your mouth. So I continue to have that Play-Doh gone bad smell in my nose. It smells like your friend's kid who hasn't bathed in like three days. It smells like wet dog that has rolled over in muddy grass. It smells that, like that girlfriend's car that she never cleaned and swears that muddy part on the floorboard was there the whole time. It smells like shit. Not actual shit. Just, just not good. If it smelled like shit, I wouldn't be drinking it. I'm not even halfway through this can, so I'm not halfway through the beer. It smells like wet trash. Garbage water. That's what this tastes like. It smells like garbage. Tastes like garbage water. Halfway through this beer and I, I want to I wanna pour it down the drain. But I'm worried it'll make my drain smell like the beer. The things I do for you people. Oh. It's light. And texture. Meaning, oh, You can drink it real easy. There's no problem there. Even though it tastes like feet on 10-day-old pumpkin pie. Oh, yesterday was a 5 out of 5. Today is not going to be that. I can feel it in my eyes. It tastes like you're just licking a butthole. And that butthole is anti-Semitic. This beer gets a 1 out of 5. You don't need to check the comment section. There's no way like tomorrow when I'm like, Oh, I want to want to drink that anti-Semitic butthole again. They must have taken... Oh, like the beers that nobody wanted and mixed them together and called it a cuvee and just assume people are going to enjoy it because I was ready to and I'm not. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to cheers you with an empty glass. 